So with that being said, uh, contentment is the topic of today. Contentment, biblical contentment. And so uh, I'm going to start off with a story. I love stories. Uh, I Sophomore year, I'm walking, I'm about to go to campus, right, for classes. I wake up, and it's like 6.38. Uh, yeah, I hadn't done my dorm job. I hadn't uh, folded my laundry. Uh, so I had a lot of stuff to still do. So I had to vacuum the floor, all this other stuff. I had to get ready and show up to class on time. And so many of you guys have been there with me, where we're just like running down the breezeway sidewalk, hoping to make it to class on time. So I, so I roll out of bed. I'm like, there's no way I'm getting all this other stuff done. I just got to take the demerits. I just got to get to class on time because it, uh, it was a hanky class, and you know how he is. So you have to get to class on time, and that was all, that's all that was in my brain. I just got to get to class on time. So I, so I get ready, disheveled shovel everything. I make it out the house, the house, the dorm. Make it out the dorm, make it out the dorm, and it's raining. It's pouring rain. And I'm, of course, that day I was wearing the one shoe that has a hole in the side of it. And so now I'm walking to class, almost late, going to get the merits. I got water in my socks, which is like my greatest pet peeve ever, is that wet socks. And so, so now there's, there's all this stuff is going wrong, and all these thoughts are just building up in my mind. It's just like, okay, you're going to get demerits. If you had actually woken up on time, you would have not had to take those demerits. Uh, if you had actually wore a better shoe, you wouldn't be soaking wet right now. If you had bought a car with your money instead of coffee, you, you, might be able, you might be able to not be soaking wet and to get there actually a little bit early, maybe get breakfast. And all these thoughts of discontentment just come into my mind. And that's a situation.